back in September, early September, uh, I decided to sow some daikon or muli. And these are the plants along here. Um, daikon or muli is um, a big radish really. And they're supposed to be very healthy for you. So I thought I'd grow them for the winter. You can see there's one coming, popping up. You need deep soil. They like... But I did nothing special. I was, uh, I just was in a hurry, so I just made a groove in the ground and sowed the seeds in and covered them. Uh, this is quite good soil, as you can see from the weeds. Lovely little weeds around. And so I want to show you some already now. And I've been trying to pull one up. Look, it comes away quite easily. And. That is a muli. Delicious. Uh, it's grated. We, we make this salad of uh, sliced thin onion, very thin, and we put a sliced muli through it. It's literally just like a... It's like a um, radish. Reggie's come to help me. He thinks he's digging up as well. So, tastes like a radish just a long radish and some turnips another one here so I've washed the muli or the daikon and you can see the amazing long taproot uh, it really was quite e literally like I said I made a groove in the ground filled it up um, hey. no put seed in my dog is confusing me. Um, covered them and left them to it. What do you think? It's all a load of nonsense. Anyway, you cut off the taper, the long wood. And it's just right in there. Look. Right in there. Cut off the greens. That will go on the compost heap. And there. You can see it's a little bit of damage. You Some people actually keep these like carrots, so they take them out of the ground and store them. I just pull them as I need them. This is the muli and I've cut a bit off. And I just, I will slice it, or you can cut it into little uh, fingers uh, and eat them just like a radish. Like I said, we pickle it with our onions we slice it with our little machine this is the turnip that i picked it's a ready color pinky color on the outside it had some sort of little bit of a worm damage but you can just cut it out and then you can still eat it right so this is the vegetable slicer i use and i will i i this is a very small thin blade and this is the thickness it cuts it very over one mil and then I mix this with an onion usually a red onion and then we put sort of make a pickle out of it by uh, putting muli onion uh, lemon juice or red wine vinegar oil salt and pepper and some honey or maple syrup and then you um, mix it really well together and it becomes a really delicious pickle to eat with your food.